all right this is josh bag with another video giving y'all some original content make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to my channel you know so make sure you do that if you're new subscribe to my channel i want y'all on my team like on my like watch my videos and everything like that so make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video because i'm gonna get uploaded bangers and everything like that so make sure you run the likes too this is gonna be a high quality video and then I'm with, you know, I like this instrumental. Y'all know my instrumentals. I like, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you like that. And uh, we pretty much can get into it how to finesse 180 waves. Like, I'm just going to show y'all, like, straight to the method, like, how to do it, like, how I did it, and how anybody can do it. It's really not that difficult. And I'm going to give y'all some, like, some cheat codes and everything just to get into it because I feel like a lot of people are struggling on things that really isn't that difficult. So that's what I'm here for. Just put y'all on and tell y'all what y'all can do. And that way, you know, you can go up on the waves, you know what I'm saying? You can get more, um, you know, intricate designs, you know, you can do different patterns and everything like that. And I feel like it can start off, from off at 180. So, you can go through that. But, yeah, make sure you turn on post notifications and everything like that. So, that way, you know, when I am posting and when I'm going to be having another video. But, um, yeah, we can get just, like, straight into it. So, yeah, like, to get straight into it, though. Uh, the finesse one of the waves, I think for me personally, like if you're a medium hair waver, I would suggest that you use a comb. You know what I'm saying? You can comb, comb your pattern out. First thing though is grow your hair. Like make sure you have enough hair to even do this. You know what I'm saying? If you can't comb your hair, I really don't suggest you do this method because you have to have like a significant amount of hair. But you know what I'm saying? If you want to finesse them, I want you to grow your hair. You know what I mean? Like, don't really worry about if it's wavy or not. Just make sure you have something to work with. You got a, a, a decent amount of hair to pull so that way you can see the, your curl pattern. You know what I'm saying? You got to grow your hair. You got to know how long it is. You got to know, um, you know, the limbs that it looks the best in. You got to know your hair. So in order to finesse it, you got to grow your hair. You don't really have to be super perfect on everything in the beginning just grow your hair so that way you can see your curl pattern again you want to be able to see that you want to be able to do that and you know if you want deeper waves you have to have more hair you can't have deeper waves with no hair so make sure you grow on that and everything like that um next thing too one biggest thing is i make sure that i am shower brushing like i always say that like make sure you shower brush um but shower brush is really a cheat code like if you don't put it on durag or anything like if you don't put nothing on what you can do you know what i mean you know it's not the worst thing in the world as people make it seem you can just either either just shower brush you know get a brush shower in the brush i mean shower in the brush me no brush in the shower there you go just brush in the shower and then just get it through you know make sure you get in shampoo and then get in conditioner and boom you done like after that your waves are going to be trained your hair is going to be trained at that point especially if you have hair you're going to see a wave pattern you're going to see the s pattern that i have right now so if you want to surpass like a lot of things if you don't want to have to worry about oh you know i don't see any waves i only have like ripples that's been one of the main things that i've been seeing with people is shower brushing if you don't want ripples and you want deeper waves just shower brush that's going to surpass every problem that you're having because if you do it when your hair is wet it's going to train your hair it's going to train your hair i repeat that if you do shower brushing where your hair is like damp your hair will be trained and your hair will learn the pattern learn the curve everything by itself so do that you know if you don't wear your if you don't like wearing your do rag all the time or if you forget or if it slips off the least you can do is shower brush that's gonna put you on that's gonna put you up on game and that's gonna make sure that you getting the results that you need at the time you need it so that's a strong tip i highly recommend all my guys to do that i do that you know i don't recommend things that i don't do but i know that works so make sure you try that make sure you do that a shower brushing shower brushing get you to polish your waves and everything like that so another thing too is a must-have item you know if you don't have anything else make sure you have the olive oil i have a castor oil olive oil so being that i'm a medium hair waver it just helps to put the moisture in my hair and then i also have my torino pro that is a medium right there 
love that brush that brush is just like an everyday go-to i can just just start brushing like i just wake up just go into it go straight into my brush sessions i make sure like i'm in the mirror and everything but um right now i'm just pretty much just growing my hair out make sure i want it at the length and i'm making sure that my barber doesn't sit, cut it too low so one of the things i do to combat that is just grow it i just grow it make sure that it's at a decent length you know nothing too crazy not too over curl but it's at a length of where i can control it and maintain it so you know i don't always have to pat it down i always don't have to have my durag on like super tight every night because at this point i'm just making sure my hair is healthy and moisturized and shiny as you can see right now like that's how i love it um and then once my hair is like at a good point that's when i work on like the hairline and all that just make sure it's all edged up my hair is getting kind of gray though like i don't know what's going on with that uh i think my camera and the light is picking it up but that was kind of freaking me out a little bit but you know what i'm saying it's a part of it make sure you do that make sure like with um you know shower brush and combine everything with the castor oil like the olive oil is really really good um, another thing too I want to talk about is like the products now a lot of times people recommend products that you can use it will help but it's not gonna make your hair automatically have waves if you don't have enough hair so you have to grow it first then shower brush then use olive oil then I would say like kind of go into the different types of products but honestly if you can just learn how to do everything in that order you'll be okay but shower brushing is really the main thing i want to do and get to you guys is do that like that helps and then you know i comb sometimes combing works everything like that but you just want to be consistent too so um consistency is important you want to make sure that you are staying up to date on your brushing um doing it every day you know don't slack because the more you slack and the more your hair grows the wilder your pattern is going to be but you know in the you're learning though too so you don't really have to beat yourself about it up about it just kind of learn okay i missed this week or i missed a couple of days it's not the end of the world let me just get back into it let me just start brushing and get my pattern back then you know what i'm saying that is possible to get your pattern back you just gotta learn how to uh, roll with the punches. You know what I mean? Like, don't be so. Oh, it's gotta be a perfect way. It's gotta be this. If you're in the learning process, just give your time, yourself time to learn it, and give yourself time to go through the motions. Um, you know, you don't want to be too impatient to the point where you, you know, you don't want to do it. You're not motivated. So, just be patient with it and be consistent, and you're gonna start seeing progress. But um. Another tip too, I think one of the guys, um, one of the things that I think guys don't really think about is the the mask, the hair mask. I use that too when I just feel like my hair isn't as moisturized as I want it to be. I just put on the hair mask. I just put on the hair mask and then what that does is just make sure my hair is moisturized without me even having to put all the products in so that's a go-to product of mine that i like to do and it helps out so very much and the next thing too is the to gold sporting waves those are just like the products that i say that would be good you know what i'm saying if you want to try those out that's what i recommend to you if you want to spend money get those but shower brushing would definitely help you surpass a lot of that extra money spending because you're going to be swimming if you shower brush like just really just shower brush that's going to help finesse it that's going to help get it to where it needs to be it's going to help you get to the shine that you want it to be at so that's pretty much the end of the video i just want to give you all those type tips and kind of go from there but um yeah that's all you need to do man just be consistent on it and hit me up if you have any questions because i'm gonna be right here and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in the next video. Make sure you turn on post notifications and I'm out.